What's up guys, Ren here, back again for another unboxing video. Today we're gonna do Bayonetta 3 Trinity Masquerade Edition. This thing just came out today. I just got it uh, from FedEx, dropped it off. So um, let's do this. This is, uh, I got this pretty pretty much free order as soon as it came out. All right, as soon as it got announced, I mean to say. And uh, yeah, it already sold out. So I guess it's in demand pretty quick. So uh, yeah, let's check out this box. Like I said, game just came out today. I think it did it reviewed pretty well so yeah how about that sexy box i always love these like sweet embossings and stuff on the box that is a nice box got all these enemies or whatever characters that you're going to come across i'm sure other witches i believe some of those characters are in there and then bayonetta herself all prancing about so yeah that's pretty sweet underside logo on the side nintendo logo because this is a switch exclusive as we know so is the second game and then the back side for a big old three for you how about that all right let's uh let's pop her open which side do i want to do it on okay how about this side okay i got my trusty old knife here there we go. Easy, easy. Whoa. Holy crap, that's pretty sweet. I wasn't expecting that. Look at that. That's like, wow, okay, I thought they were British bringing covers. This is like their own individual cases. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna get this out without trashing it. There we go. So yeah, I think these are like, so this is the main game, obviously the third one that just came out, but then they have cases for the first two games to kind of match it, uh, Bayonetta 1 and 2. So here is Bayonetta 1. Yeah. Okay, let's, uh, let's see what's inside this thing. So I actually haven't even finished the first game, and I have the second game as well, I haven't really touched that. And this one, you know, I'm probably gonna wait till I play the first two, but this has got me more in the mood, which I might play the first two games, replay it, because they're pretty sweet. I mean, they're like Devil May Cry, awesome hack and slashes, insane combos, ridiculously over the top and all that stuff. So here's some artwork here, on the characters from the first game. Bayonetta, her booty all out as usual. <laughs> We all know how this game goes, right? See? I'm like boot, booty nea. <laughs> oh, okay, that's pretty uneventful in here, so. Well, put the put the game cartridge in there if you ever get it. Because they did um, recently release the first game digitally, or uh, physically on the Switch as well. Because it was only digital available uh, with a copy of Bayonetta 2, which was what I got. So here's Bayonetta 2. Some of their crazy characters, all that stuff. Some more booty action, which no, it's Bayonetta. We all know what's what it's about, right? Like, oh yeah, <laughs> she does all doing all these crazy moves and poses, and she fights with her hair that turns into like giant monsters and stuff like that. The action in these games are insane. Nice. Yeah, Bayonetta too. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to open this since there's nothing eventful inside anyway, so we'll just uh, hang on to this. Well, I guess I just put them on the side. How about that? Yeah, looking nice and sweet. And now the third game. So it's the cover art. Obviously, they redesign her each and every time. I'm not crazy about this design as much as, I mean, the other ones look a little bit better. Plus, this one's got less booty in it. Come on. Beauty becomes the beast. Beauty becomes booty becomes the beast. <laughs> uh, and there's some kind of new character. I don't know what that's all about. Empower Bayonetta to control demons or even transform into them in this pinnacle of the stylish action series. Command demons, nice. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty fun. Like I said, I gotta finish the first one, but now it's got me in the mood, so maybe I'll start streaming them. 
Uh, you guys definitely check me out on Twitch and, um, come on, focus camera. Check me out on Twitch and also on uh, Great Men Streams. I got a dedicated streaming channel here on YouTube. I'll link them in the description and the pinned comment down below. So be sure to subscribe and follow on Twitch. See some sweet Bayonetta action on there sometime. There we go, we got the focus back. Looks good, looks good. Yeah, we already looked at all that. And then the innards, cool. So yeah, they also have that reversible type of cover that's like these ones as well. Although, inside of this one doesn't anything. So. But, yeah, that's cool. Reversible cover to match the other two. And at a 3D cart. Got that. Ooh, be a dead of three, baby. So. There's that guy. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, art books. Guys, I'm a sucker for art books. That's definitely why I like to get some, some of these kind of collector's editions, because do love me some art books. Oh, this is pretty nice. It's got some heft to it, so it's actually better than I thought it was going to be. Put this little guy's side here. Slice this guy open. game's got some crazy designs with like you know obviously her like clothes and her weapons and the monsters that you fight against the demons the angels whatever they are so oh, Bayonetta 3 it's super cool yeah her dress is crazy it's crazy yeah so I'm like designing her dress I guess here all that good stuff she's got like a tail almost her hair turning into tails. Nice, nice artwork. Oh, she's like casual, her casual clothes and stuff. <laughs> There's all these different weapons. It's her eyeshadow type of stuff. Jewelry. This other character I'm not familiar with, but I saw her in some trailers. Punkish design, it looks like. Nice, she got herself a nice like samurai sword. I don't know what that is. That must be her transformation. Yeah, and this game's got like some sort of like <laughs> the prude mode or whatever, because you know how like Bayonetta gets kind of almost nude when she transforms or uses her hair or whatever. So this one there's like a you can kind of toggle a switch to make it like less sexual, I guess you could say. Um which I'm just like, whatever, it's kind of ridiculous to even have that, but whatever. As long as they keep what is intended. You know what I mean? Pen pizza. Cool, cool. And this guy, he's like a mafioso dude. <laughs> kind of annoying, but kind of funny. I remember him from the first game, so I guess he must be making a return. Uh, I don't know who these people are. Girl looks very anime-ish. Let's try to get a better angle in here. That way we can kind of go through a little faster too. Crazy looking characters. Oh, look at that. It's crazy demonic stuff going on here. Booty. Hmm. The hell is this? These are some crazy designs. This is cool artwork, man. This definitely makes me want to start drawing again and stuff like that. I used to draw more back in the day. Some better angles so we can get less 
glare. I can just kind of flip through it because there's kind of a lot of pages here. Eyes. Guns. Oh. What the hell is that? Some sort of weird demented train. The crazy dresses. Some more wacky monsters. This is a pretty comprehensive art book. This is, like I said, better than I thought it would be. A lot of art books, when they come with collector's editions, they're kind of skimpy, but this one's got. It actually has a lot of pages. This is pretty sweet. Yeah, and this uh, thing was $90, so the game is $60, so basically you're getting, for $30, bucks, you get in the art book and like the other cases and stuff, and plus the sweet box. So there's that. Oh, look at this. Yeah, I love these kind of, you know, uh, landscape, environment, designs and stuff, ideas, concepts, environments. That's pretty cool. It's like Japanese stuff. You guys know I love that. Japanese aesthetic. Look at that. Ooh. Probably going to be some pretty sweet looking areas to explore in this game. This is going to be dope. Egyptian stuff. Hmm. What's going on here? Whoa, you go to some Egyptian level? Okay, I'm getting kind of excited here to this game, guys. Whoops. Skipped a lot of pages there. But yeah, it's going to take way too long if we go through each individual page. Just kind of hop around here. Nice portals and shit. Nice industrial, futuristic, underwater. Nice, this is gonna be cool. All right, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to start streaming the first game, and the second game, and now this one. Yeah, so there you go. That's the art book. That's pretty sweet. That's a, that was a very nice art book. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for Bayonetta. Bayonetta three. Masquer Trinity Masquerade Edition, you know, let me say that right, that's a mouthful, Trinity Masquerade Edition, that is what it is, but yeah, guys, let me know what you think of Bayonetta 3 and this Collector's Edition in the comments below, um, you know, there was some weird controversy with this game with the voice actor, I didn't really get into that, it sounded kind of stupid, I just wanted to get this, so, <laughs> guys, let me know if you have any thoughts on that, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, uh, like I said, um, go subscribe. If you haven't subscribed here, definitely subscribe. Also subscribe to Great Men Streams and uh, follow on Twitch as well. We also opened up a Discord, so I'll put a link to that in the description and pinned comment down below. But yeah, we got some more videos got coming for you guys. Wesker's been working on some Sega Genesis stuff. We got Devil May Cry 3 with Dark Assassin in the works. Shit's going to be sweet. Shit's going to be dope. You guys definitely check it out. Stay tuned and all that good stuff. So thanks you, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Really appreciate you. And... Uh, yeah, we will see you next time on the next episode of Great Men Taking Over the World. Bye.